Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is Git data table row names? This is the Git data table row names node, and it's pretty simple. It's going to ask you for which data table you want to get information from. By default, it's going to be none. We'll choose our weapon data table. And it's going to output, well, the names of all the rows. If we were to plug this into, let's say, a print string, I'll go ahead and debug the print string. Print string. So it pauses, and we'll hit play. We'll go into our game, and we'll look. And we'll see that this data table, the row names are Kelphalos, Dagger, and Longsword. So we have three items. And if we actually look at the data table, we can see that, yes. Here's my row name, Kelthalos, Dagger, and Longsword, which you can see here. It's a really simple way of just iterating through your data table and getting your row names. Maybe you need it for bookkeeping purposes or something like that. But you can also use it if you want to really easily grab a row and all you have is an ID or a name. If you engineer the data table in a certain way, you can use it to easily get data out of it. Let me show you that. So let me open up my data table. And we'll notice that I have a item inside of my data table called the item ID, and it's the same as the row name. I've named it that way on purpose. I also have another one called name, which is the longer name, or the official name, or display name, or whatever you want, and then some other values. But these two things being the same is the key for this. Our player has a weapon. And our player's weapon has information. It's a weapon structure, so it's going to have all these things like the item ID, name, damage, and such. Now, at some point, I need to display the information, maybe the name, the damage, and such. I have this item on my character, so I have the item ID variable. So I could easily pass the item ID into a find node output from the get table table row, so something like this. And then pass in the item ID like this, and it's going to go ahead and pass this one in here. And we can plug it in. And what we're doing is we're saying, hey, give me all the row names. Let me find, based on my item ID, which row that is. And then go ahead and pass it in to a find and a get. The nice thing also is because if you know the item ID, you could easily plug this directly into our get data table rows. And there's other way of doing things simpler and different varied ways. But this is just a way to easily mock something up and pull out information. It is, it's going to give you an array, and then you can get indexes that you can feed back into itself to get the proper row name or other things. Maybe, for example, you need to find something different. Maybe you need to find something specific. Get data table row names will give you all those row names in case you need them for whatever purpose. Really simple, easy note. Again, inputs a data table, outputs the array of all the names. 